short exercise 10-9. We're going to journalize the disposal of a plant asset. So Mill Creek Golf Club purchased equipment on January 1st, 2016 for $31,500. Suppose the company then sold the equipment at the end of 2018 for $22,000. Accumulated depreciation as of the end of 2018 was $21,000. So we're going to journalize the sale of the equipment, assuming straight line depreciation was used. So when we sell an asset or dispose of it, dispose of being, uh, disposing of an asset just means getting rid of it, either just tossing it or selling it. Or trading it for something else we have four steps to do now you can do these steps in any order except this first one bring depreciation up to date that has to be the very first step and then we need to remove the old disposal of asset and the associated accumulated depreciation from the books and then we're going to record any cash received and then we're going to determine and record the gain or the loss so the first step, bring depreciation up to date. Now that has already been done for us. How do we know? Well, the company sold the equipment on December 31st, 2018. And this accumulated depreciation number that they give us is as of that date. So they have already updated the accumulated depreciation for us. So now we're going to calculate if we got a gain or a loss from this equipment. So the way we do that is we compare what we what we received versus what we gave up. So let's see what we received. So we received $22,000 of cash. Now, what did we give up? Well, we gave up this asset. So we had to figure out the book value of the asset. And book value, of course, is cost minus accumulated depreciation. So the cost of this asset was $31,500. And then the accumulated depreciation was 21000 So now I'm going to take the cost, subtract the accumulated depreciation. That gives us a book value of 10500 This is an awesome deal for us. So we gave up something worth 10500 And the people gave us $22,000 in exchange for it. So that's definitely a gain. So we're going to subtract those two. Take 22,000, subtract what we gave up, 10,500, and that gives us a gain of 11,500. Cool. Now we need to record the journal entry. So this is how I like to do the journal entry. I like to check out some T accounts of the transactions, excuse me, of the accounts before the sale. So I've created two T accounts, the equipment, and notice that's an asset, of course, and then it's accumulated depreciation on the equipment. And because this is a contra asset, the pluses and minuses are the opposite of the equipment account. So we originally purchased the equipment at thirty-one and a half thousand. So this account has this thirty-one thousand five hundred still in it. So we need to oh, also the accumulated depreciation account has twenty-one thousand in it. So we need to get both of these off of our books. In other, words, we're, in other words, we need to zero out these accounts. So let's start with accumulated depreciation because that's going to be the debit. So how would we zero out this account? Well, we need to debit the account $21,000. So accumulated depreciation on the equipment. I'm going to get that, rid of, get that off of our books. And since I'm here on the, working on the debits, didn't we receive something? We received cash. So let's record the cash. And the amount of cash we got was 22,000. I get that from up here. And just to make it easier to read, put the comma in there. And now we need to get rid of the asset off of our book. So how do we get rid of this asset? I need to credit it $31,500. So I'm going to skip a line. The, the line is going to be for our gain. And I need to get rid of the equipment. And the original price was $31,500. And then the gain is going to go right here. Gain on disposal. Now, 
there's another way to figure out a gain or loss. You just plug in these three numbers and then you figure out, well, what number is going to make this transaction balance? And the only way to get this transaction to balance, you add these two up, subtract this, and then that means we need $11,500 on the right side, the credit side, to make a balance. Now, without having to do done this calculation up here, could we figure out if this is a gain or loss? Yes. Gains are like revenues. And revenues are in the credit column. So if this was a loss, it would be like an expense. And expenses are in the debit column. Okay. So now we know that we have a gain on the disposal of our equipment. We got the equipment off the books and we recorded the cash. And double, always double check to make sure that this transaction balances. Sold equipment for cash. And that's it.